வணக்கம் நைன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சயின்ஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் மீடியம் லெசன் டூ மோஷன் டெக்ஸ்ட் புக் எக்ஸசைசஸ் சூஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் ஒன் த ஏரியா அண்டர் வெலாஸ்டி டைம் கிராஃப் ரெப்ரஸன்ஸ் த ஆன்சர் ஆப்ஷன் பி டிஸ்பிளேஸ்மெண்ட் கவர் பை த மூவிங் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் டூ which one of the following is most likely not a case of uniform circular motion answer option c motion of a racing car on a circular track question number 3 which of the following graph represents uniform motion of a moving particle option b fourth question the centrifugal force is answer option c a virtual force a centrifugal force is a virtual force fill in the blanks speed is a dash quantity whereas velocity is a dash quantity speed is a scalar quantity whereas velocity is a vector quantity second question the slope of the distance time graph at any point gives dash answer speed the slope of the distance time graph at any point gives speed third question negative acceleration is called dash retardation or deceleration fourth question area under velocity time graph shows dash answer displacement state whether true or false if false correct the statement question number 1 the motion of a city bus in a heavy traffic road is an example for uniform motion answer false the correct statement is the motion of a city bus in a heavy traffic road is an example for non uniform motion non uniform motion question number 2 acceleration can get negative value also answer true third question distance covered by a particle never becomes zero but displacement becomes zero answer true fourth question the velocity time graph of a particle falling freely under gravity would be a straight line parallel to the x axis answer false the correct statement is the velocity time graph of a particle moving at uniform velocity would be a straight line parallel to the x axis fifth question if the velocity time graph of a particle is a straight line inclined to x axis then its displacement time graph will be a straight line answer true assertion and recent type questions mark the correct choice as here four options are given we have to choose it correctly option a if both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion option b if both assertion and reason are true but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion option c if assertion is true but reason is false option d if assertion is false but reason is true question number 1 assertion the accelerated motion of an object may be due to change in magnitude of velocity or direction or both of them reason acceleration can be produced only by change in magnitude of the velocity it does not depend the direction here assertion is true reason is false so here answer is option c if assertion is true but reason is false question number 2 assertion 
The speedometer of a car or a motorcycle measures its average speed. Decent. Average velocity is equal to total displacement divided by total time taken. Here, assertion false. Reason is true. So, here answer is option D. Assertion is false but reason is true. Third question. Assertion. Displacement of a body may be zero when distance travelled by it is not zero. Reason. The displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final position. Here, assertion is true. Reason is also true. Reason is the correct explanation of assertion. So, here answer is option A. Both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion. Match the following. Here list 1 and list 2 are given in list 1. Motion of a body covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. Second one motion with non-uniform acceleration. Third one constant retardation. Fourth one uniform acceleration. In list 2 graphs are given. Velocity time graphs are given. We have to match it correctly. In list 2 A, B, C, D. Four graphs are velocity time graphs are given. We have to match it correctly. First one, motion of a body covering equal distances uh, in equal intervals of time comes answer graph B. Graph velocity time graph B is the correct one for motion of a body covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. Second question, motion with non-uniform acceleration of C is the correct one. C velocity time graph C is the correct answer third constant retardation constant retardation velocity time graph A comes answer constant retardation is the correct answer uniform acceleration velocity time graph D is the answer Answer briefly. Define velocity. Answer. Velocity is the rate of change of displacement. It is the displacement with unit time. It is a vector quantity. The SI unit of velocity is meter second power minus 1. Thus, velocity is equal to displacement by time taken. Second question. Distinguish between distance and displacement. Distance, the actual length of the path traveled by a moving body irrespective of the direction. Displacement, the change in position of a moving body in a particular direction. Distance, it is a scalar quantity. Displacement, it is a vector quantity. Third question. What do you mean by uniform motion? Answer. An object is said to be in uniform motion if it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time. Howsoever big or small, these time intervals may be. Fourth question. Compass, speed and velocity. Speed. Velocity. Speed. It is the rate of change of distance with respect to time. Velocity. It is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time. Second one. It is a scalar quantity having magnitude only. Velocity. It is a vector quantity having both magnitude and direction. Speed. Speed is velocity without a particular direction. Velocity. Velocity is speed in a particular direction.
speed. It is measured in meter second power minus 1 in SI system. Velocity, it is also measured in meter second power minus 1 in a particular direction in SI system. Speed, speed in any direction would be a positive quantity since the distance in any direction is a positive quantity. Velocity, velocity can get both positive and negative values. If velocity in one direction is assumed to be positive, then the velocity in the opposite direction would be a negative quantity. Velocity can get zero value also. Fifth question. What do you understand about negative acceleration? Answer. If velocity decreases with time, the value of acceleration is negative. Note. Negative acceleration is also called retardation or deacceleration. Sixth question. Is the uniform circular motion accelerated? Give reason for your answer. Answer. When an object is moving with a constant speed along a circular path, the change in velocity is only due to the change in direction. Hence, it is accelerated motion. Seventh question. What is meant by uniform circular motion? Give two examples of uniform circular motion. Answer. When an object moves with constant speed along a circular path the motion is called uniform circular motion example the earth moves around the sun in the uniform circular motion the moon moves in uniform circular motion around the earth answer in detail Derive the equations of motion by graphical method. Answer. Equations of motion from velocity time graph. Graph shows the change in velocity with time of a uniformly accelerated object. The object starts from the point D in the graph with velocity u. Its velocity keeps increasing and after time t, it reaches the point B on the graph. The initial velocity of the object u is equal to OD is equal to EA. The final velocity of the object V is equal to OC is equal to EB. Time t is equal to OE is equal to DE. Also from the graph we know that AB is equal to DC. First equation of motion. By definition, acceleration is equal to change in velocity by time. Final velocity minus initial velocity by time is equal to OC minus OD by OE is equal to DC by OE. A is equal to DC by T. DC is equal to AB is equal to AT. From the graph, EB is equal to EA plus EAB. Therefore, V is equal to U plus AT. That is equation 1. This is the first equation of motion. Second equation of motion. From the graph, the distance covered by the object during time t is given by the area of quadrangle DOEB. S is equal to area of the quadrangle DOEB is equal to area of the rectangle DOEA plus area of the triangle DAB is equal to AE into OE plus half into AB into DE. S is equal to UT plus half AT square. Equation 2. This is the second equation of motion. Third equation of motion. From the graph, the distance covered by the object during time T is given by the area of the quadrangle DOEB. Here DOEB is a trapezium. Then S is equal to area of trapezium DOEB is equal to half into sum of length of parallel side into distance between parallel sides is equal to half into OD plus BE into OE is S is equal to half into U plus V into T since A is equal to V minus U by T or T is equal to V minus U by A. Therefore, S is equal to half into V plus U into V minus U by A 
टू ए एस इज इक्वल टू वी स्क्वयर मैनस यू स्क्वयर दर् फोर वी स्क्वयर इज इक्वल टू यू स्क्वयर प्लस टू ए एस इज इक्वेशन थ्री दिस इज द थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन सेकेंड क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन आंसर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन वन लीनियर मोशन द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट अलॉन्ग ए स्ट्रेट लाइन इज नोन एज लीनियर मोशन एग्जाम्पल कार मूविंग ऑन ए स्ट्रेट रोड सेकेंड सर्कुलर मोशन द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज अ सर्कुलर पाथ इज नोन एज सर्कुलर मोशन एग्जाम्पल एथ रिवॉलविंग अराउंड द सन थर्ड ऑक्सीटरी मोशन Repetitive to and fro motion of an object at regular interval of time is called as oscillatory motion. Example: motion of pendulum of a clock. Fourth, random motion. The disordered or irregular motion of a body is called random motion. Example: movement of fish under water. problems first one a ball is gently dropped from a height of 20 meter if a velocity increases uniformly at the rate of 10 meter second power minus 2 with what velocity will it strike the ground after what time will it strike the ground and so here we have in cell velocity a is equal to 0 Distance is equal to twenty meter. Acceleration a is equal to ten meter per second square. Final velocity v is equal to. We have to find out and time t. We have to find out. A calculation of final velocity v. We know that v square is equal to u square plus two a s. V square is equal to zero plus two into ten into twenty meter. V square is equal to four hundred meter square per second square. we get square root of 400 meter square by second square therefore v is equal to 20 meter per second b calculation of time t we know that v is equal to u plus 80 20 meter per second is equal to 0 plus 10 meter per second square into t therefore t is equal to 20 meter per second square by 20 meter per second is equal to 2 second therefore ball will strike the ground at a velocity of 20 meter per second time taken to reach the ground is equal to 2 seconds second problem an athlete complete one round of a circular track of diameter 200 meter in 40 second what will be the distance covered and the displacement at the end of 2 meter and 20 seconds here we have diameter is equal to 200 meter therefore radius 200 by 2 is equal to 100 meter time of one rotation is equal to 40 second time after 2 meter 20 second is equal to 2 into 60 second plus 2 20 second is equal to 140 second distance after 140 second is equal to we have to find displacement after 140 second also we have to find circular track with diameter of 200 meter we know that velocity along a circular path is equal to circumference by time v is equal to for circumference 2 pi r we have to substitute 2 pi r by 40 second v is equal to 2 into 3.14 into 100 by 40 second is equal to 628 meter by 40 second v is equal to 15.7 meter per second a distance after 140 second we know that distance is equal to velocity by time distance is equal to 15.7 meter per second into 140 second is equal to 2198 meter b displacement after 2 meter 20 second that is in 140 second we know that distance is equal to velocity into time since rotation 40 second is equal to 1 therefore rotation in 1 second is equal to 1 by 40 rotation in 140 second is equal to 1 by 40 into 140 is equal to 3.5 therefore in 3.5 rotation athlet will be just the opposite side of the circular track that is at the distance equal to the diameter of the circular track which is equal to 200 meter therefore distance covered in 2 minutes 20 second is equal to 
2198 meter therefore displacement after 2 minutes 20 second is equal to 200 meter third question a racing car has a uniform acceleration of 4 meter second power minus 2 what distance it covers in 10 second after the start answer here we have acceleration e is equal to 4 meter per second square initial velocity u is equal to 0 Time t is equal to 10 second. Distance s covered is equal to we have to find out. We know that s is equal to u t plus half a t square. We have to substitute s is equal to 0 into 10 second plus half into 4 meter per second square into 10 second square is equal to half into 4 meter per second square into 100 second square is equal to 2 into 100 meter is equal to 200 meter. Thus, racing car will cover a distance of 200 meter after start in 10 second with given acceleration.